What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is a set of course of early access with the BMW E30 M3 Group A touring car from Mugello. Yeah, and there's more than one car on track because we're actually racing stuff because we got AI. So let's give it a go. This is on the highest difficulty level. Five lap race, I do believe a 12 car grid. So let's see how this pans out. These guys are crazy, trust me. <laughs> I've uh, tried all the races that they offer you currently, and these guys are by far the most maniacal. They, uh, I suppose they really wanted to try and emulate, emulate the craziness that often unfurled in these cars. Although at the same time, I feel like I need a Mercedes. Even though I still drive the BMW, it's only only right. It's so nice to have stuff to race. This was really the number one feature I was waiting to see. You know, even over multiplayer. I know a lot of people are all they're really high up on the multiplayer train, and that's that's the big thing that they're waiting to see, which, you know, hey, I can understand that for sure. But at the same time, I also feel like AI is the area that they can really stand to really assert their ground and make a splash majorly. And, you know, really hit that spot where there's just not really necessarily all that much competition if it could be done right. The AI could be good. And I mean truly good, not Oh yeah, it's good because they don't run me over, they don't break check me 50,000 times. And a drift battle ensued. Silliness. That's what happens when you downshift in the middle of the corner. So I really think that AI is much more important overall than multiplayer. You know, by a very large margin. Especially seeing how this is Kuno's first go with AI. As none of their previous titles have featured AI. It's a fresh start. It's a blank slate. Like you look at R Factor 2, for example, you can still tell that it's ISI that's making that the AI. You know, it's still displays many of the hallmarks that their their AI does display. Whoa! What is up with Sims and cars flipping all of a sudden? Goodness gracious! <laughs> it's kind of going crazy. You had iRacing first with the the roof C-spec kind of kicked the festivities off and the ISI Civic that also seems to supposedly have a rolling problem now we, now we got flipping E30s what's going on here but you can definitely tell though that the AI is I honestly say unlike any other AI that I've experienced in any sims it's It, it is, in a word, crazy. It is insane. It is hell-bent on world domination. <laughs> like, these guys really want to beat you. <laughs> they, they actually race. They actually pass. And do stuff like that, which I think is what we all want, is... You know, you see some other games where you'll often notice there's AI just all driving in one single file conga line, all going the exact same speed and making no effort to pass, which not only does it look stupid, it breaks your immersion, as well as the fact that it, it's a terrible, terrible racing experience. <laughs> oh boy, if you're wondering why I keep oversteering into the corners, too much rearward brake. Flat out. Just 
that, that's, that's me saying that flat out. That's exactly what the problem is. It's, it's a setup problem, not anything silly going on. Like I said, I want to see multiplayer, but I really would like to see the AI in a more finished state. I'd like to really see what it can do first. Because then I can get properly excited. Or properly unexcited. And then maybe we can get a Mercedes to race these things with. Yeah, that would, that'd be, that'd be great. Just something about cars with boxy fender flares and boxy aerodynamics. No, that is not a pun because I go by empty box, but... Seriously, this car is just... Awesome arrow. Just awesome. One thing that is concerning, though, is the fact that this is on the highest difficulty. And I haven't really practiced all that much in traditional fashion. As well as the fact that I haven't really driven this car all that much, nor this track all that much. So I wouldn't say I'm particularly good in one or the other, and I'm not particularly good in a set of Corsa. But yet, there's the leader right there. Yeah, on the first day that AI is available. Granted, I'm nearly wrecking every single time I go into turn one, but that's that's an easy enough problem to fix. Just makes it more exciting. So that kind of makes me wonder how fast will they be down the road once I get more seat time with the settle course, like once I get more time with the cars, once I start making setups and all that sort of thing. Yeah, obviously the pace is going to go up, it's not going to go down, but it's not exactly got all that much pace that we can uh, go ahead and find and still keep a nice good race, to be entirely honest, which is kind of kind of concerning. Those arrows, man. So. Look at that, man. The AI actually defended its position cleanly. Cars are just so much fun. You, know, you can say what you want about the subtle course. Uh, you can have so many physics de physics debates, but I will say one thing that subtle course has done very well is put a massive smile on my face. And, you know, especially here with AI, if, if they can improve this and go forward with it, they can definitely have a lot of fun with this. Now maybe a, a, a different type of experience, you know, which... As me, I got my feet all crossed up. Damage not actually implemented currently. In case you're wondering how in the world my car hasn't just exploded into bits. That's why you go with the rearward brake bias, that way you can go-kart the car. It's also really nice to see the AI making mistakes and you know, things like that, although I do think the way they're hitting the brakes on corner exit is kind of unnatural and odd. <laughs> Usually you don't hit your brakes there.
He walks up, I walked up. This is the last lap. Wine. Not going to be close enough to this left or right, so it's going to have to be done in the final corner. Nope, not going to have it. Not going to have it. Should have. Should have gone in there more aggressively. But hey, I think that's fairly impressive. Once we got things sorted out, there was some inclination of AI that actually actually be pretty impressive. They were a little bit aggressive, but then again, with Group A touring cars, you know, that is kind of what you'd expect a little bit. So there you go. This is your first look at a subtle course at AI. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Room to improve, for sure. It's, well, it's a good start. It's a good start on something that's very difficult to do, as evidenced by the fact that we've been waiting for a decade. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they can improve it. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.